Okay, we're going to the second part here, which is we're now on step 15. We have to do an if statement here, which we had done before. What we want to say in here, <clears throat> it's a payment type of message based on the threshold balance, which is in here. If their balance is less than 600, 750, where we're going to use a cell reference, you're going to say no checks, only cash. And then if it's false, it will be checks or cash. So, <clears throat> again, it's a text display. So, we're going to do the if statement. I'm on formulas, logical if. I want to say if the annual total is greater than or equal to this number, which is a constant, it's saying true, greater than or equal to, um, it's saying false, I meant to say. If it's true, we're going to put in a text chain in here. Quotes will automatically show up. If it's false, but if you look at the box above, you're seeing quotes above, checks or cash. And then I say OK. And if I drag this down, it's just going to say how we're taking the money based on their balance. Next thing we want to do. <clears throat> this is step 18. You're doing summary statistics. The number of new members, lowest balance, and everything here. Make sure you're using the correct set of cells. So if I want to count the number of new members, it would be count on the home tab. count numbers. I go into here. Make sure you're in the right thing here. The lowest min. Just look at the right thing here. The lowest balance. That's not. Am I in the right thing here? No. Let me hit the thing here. Balance. Min and again, because I don't have the whole range done. So you go into the correct cells. And of course, I was in the wrong cell. Click on the drop down arrow. You get min. I highlight down through 13. Yep. So it's always going to show the 100, okay? But I'll just make up a few numbers here. You know these are not the correct numbers here. Want you people to know how to do this. So if I want to do the average, I could actually, let me sh show you something. Click on that drop down arrow here, average. So I go there. If I want to know the maximum, I can literally type it out. Equal max. Go over here. Want to know the median? Equal M E D I A N. Left parenthesis. Go up here. Highlight the range. So it's showing that the median is a three hundred dollars in here. So that is the essence of this project. Again, put in the correct formulas. Copy them down as you go along. You see anything that looks extraordinary or bizarre? Chances are you made a mistake. Good luck.